What's up? Good morning. Good morning. Missed last week, man. Well, I was it's, it's fifty fifty. I was sick, but then I got I started. I got my shot in the butt that I get every week, and I felt better. But then you had to go. You had to go. And I was I was getting ready to go to Phoenix, and I was it was I just it was busy. And by the afternoon, it was too busy to you know get it done. But uh, well, I did, well, I did I, learn them, them shots in the butt make you feel better. My little uh, weight loss vitamin shots. Yeah. You need to find out what that is. Find out what that is. I'm gonna find. I think I go Wednesday for my next one. I'll find out what it is. <sighs> yeah. Well, you did uh, one through five, and they're cleaned up for everybody that's watching or listening. Cleaned up. Yeah. So that's what, they, what, what that means for them is Russell. Russell writes the action. Right, and he kind of puts a story on it just so he can like just it helps him write it, but then he gives it to me and then I just clean it up and make it make sounds like a story. Yeah, if if you were a uh, car builder or anything, I build the frame. Yeah, put the wheels on it, and then I push it out of the deal, and then Hoke has to finish the rest and clean it to where you could drive it. <laughs> I got paint it. Yeah, I got paint it. And I got to put the steering wheel on. <laughs> yeah put the cushions in and all that stuff, but it, I, it's really starting to flow. So we have not, well, every, anybody can, I watch film riot on YouTube and they have a challenge coming up a four minute challenge. And it's for a pitch concept kind of, uh, I don't know if you watched that deal. I sent you the uh, first one. Yes. Yeah, the second one. No, you need to watch the second one. It's yeah. long, so just take find something you ain't got. It's twenty seven minutes, but just it's how the and it explains why he wants for the four minutes. So we're adding an additional scene in front of Roy. So just in case we just send it in for the hell of it and nothing happens, yeah, you'll know where Roy starts on this journey. Okay. So I got all the action. I'll finish writing it tonight, but I got it all in my head now. So okay. <sighs> But it's it's also cool to see how they're – oh, and when you see it, you'll notice that we can use – it doesn't matter, iPhone, it don't make a shit. They just want a concept. Yeah. And action and horror are the – horror is the hardest, especially for independence because you want to pitch your scares. Action is what most people end up pitching, doing. Right. And then drama's tough because you, it's um, you got to be minutes. very clever. Yeah, you got to hook them in four minutes, and it's hard to hook. Yeah. With just talking. That's the reason why they usually make dramas based on a real story because they're like, oh, that really happened. Let me go watch the movie about that. That's a, that's one thing he says. That is one thing he says in there, and you you just said what he said. Okay, it helps. It helps what actually happened. True story helps people go. Oh, I want to see. What I, oh my gosh, really. Right. Right. So, so we could do the. Uh, what, what can we do? Some, I'm sure there's some Waco juiciness. Oh no, I, could, I couldn't. I, anything in Texas, something based on a real story. You don't yeah. remember it? There, there's. I was reading about that the other day. I think the anniversary was not that long ago. There was a murder when I was a kid in Robinson, right next to Sonic. Yeah, I, I Brazil. Brazil uh, worked it. The, oh, did Brazil, he? Uh, he ended up the, at the, the computer uh, store. The computer store, yeah, yeah, dude. We were talking about that dude two, three days ago. Really, and they never, they never solved it. They but there's a weird, it. suspicious guy that had, was that kept, had, was known to be there before, and for some reason came back later to the scene when the cops were there. They said he acted funny, and I'm like, I when I read the article, I'm like, why didn't y'all, why didn't y'all dude, pursue this uh, guy? We just talked about that. That's crazy. Yeah, isn't that crazy? So that'd be a good, that'd be a good show to do. So we need to get some research. Brazil has some research on it because either he knew it or they knew him real well. We were talking about that though. Uh, yeah, they they were in Robinson. I mean, it was. I mean, I think they all lived there. Yeah, computer store. Yeah. Where was uh? Where did you go watch the movie at? Oh, Tenet. Yeah, I went and saw my first movie since I think I think this is the first movie I've seen since the last Star Wars. Dude, I, I ain't been to the theater. I can't tell you when. Did you go to the theater? Yeah, I went to IMAX, the the AMC it IMAX cra- here. It crowded at all? No, no. Well, first of all, it says on the website that they're limited to 40% people. 
And then oh. uh, they have you can pick your you have to pick your seat because I'm going to go to see the Empire Strikes Back or re release Friday, and even there you had to pick your seat on the ticket. But I mean, I I, don't, I think whoever bought them must have not come because when I picked it, it was fairly full. But when I got there, there was only maybe ten of us in that theater. That's it was good, a though. Saturday. It was a Saturday night at the, like seven or eight showing. So. It wasn't, good. The concession area it was felt normal. I mean, it wasn't full of people, but it felt right. normal. But but it's a good, well, it's a good movie. It's I got to go watch it. Dude. I got to watch it. I just I'm you know, like I told you, I want to see the backwards fight and stuff like that. Well, there's one part like I was telling you that confused the hell out of me, and I, I was really paying attention. I have my my thinking hat. I'm new to be ready. <laughs> I'm watching. I'm really paying attention. And this one part in the middle, I just like I don't know what I don't know what just hell is going on. <laughs> and then the next scene, I felt really dumb. And the next scene, they explained it, and I was like, "Oh, I wasn't supposed to know what happened." So I so guess I wasn't that's supposed to. That, that's out. yeah, maybe that's the deal. You were he only wants you to know, like, "Hey, hold up, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna tell I'm you, I'm gonna get it to you. Quit trying to figure it out. Just enjoy it." I don't think it's his best, Christopher Nolan. I don't think it's his best movie by a long shot. But it's about as well made a movie as is possible by humans today. The effects and the shots are on an IMAX. I mean, it's it's great. How did John David Washington do? He's good. I didn't know he was Denzel's son until I, after the movie. Are I you kidding him up. me? I didn't know it was Denzel's son. He didn't look that much like him to me. Dude, he looks like his mom. Uh, he was on Ballers. He was the, one of the main I stars really on got Ballers. Into Ballers. Uh, he played football even. Yeah, he played football. He was the Black Klansman. He was. I, I knew mean, he was a Black Klansman, and I seen it. I liked it. I didn't know he's Denzel's son. I never looked. I never looked it up. He is Denzel's son. Then I went and saw Tenet, and I'm like, "Well, what else has he done?" I go on IMDb, and I'm like, "Denzel, what? Oh, I had. No, he don't sound like him or look like him to me. He's good though, isn't he? Oh, he's good. He's great. I mean, he does. He does the. Um, I can't. I don't want to ruin it, but. There's a fight scene that goes backwards, and you see it twice because they go back and forth in time, and it's. it's Did they? And I watched the special on that. They fought forward, and they didn't reverse the film. Then they made them fight backwards and pull the punches. Well, there's it's one. It's cool. He's like I said, I don't want to run it, but people. He's on the ground, and he's like he crawls backwards or forwards, and he's trying to get away. And then they do it the other way. That goes the opposite way. It's weird. It's yeah. It's like it, yeah. it, it is the Matrix meets Inception meets James Bond because hey, Kenneth Branagh is the is the James Bond villain and 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 Denzel. That is a great way. I'm anxious to see the new the new a uh, new Bond. I think yeah, it's gonna be pretty good. No time. Um, well, what do you think we ought to? Uh, we're coming up on the days the twenty first. Is that right? Twenty first. Well, I think with the scripts that you've already – Well, we know out, first and foremost, I'm gonna, we're going to knock out the four-minuter first. Yeah. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. I'd like to try to shoot that in the next – maybe not this week, but maybe next week because it's only going to take me one day. Uh-huh. Or actually probably oh, – it'll be do one with Jack and Chris. But uh, I do – I was going to say this, but I'll just say it, say it on the show. I got an idea. Okay. If they only knew how many times I heard that very <laughs> phrase, got a deal. I think we call it instead of Roy, we call it for we call the first one, and then we can leave it Roy. We call it screwed. Okay. <laughs> and you'll hear where I'm going when I uh, I don't know if I want to I divulge all my uh, Christopher Nolan knowledge on them. Okay. But. After we know what's going to happen with Roy at the first, when he comes to see Jack, and you already we already talked about that. Yeah, I think he ought to. He's in the he's in the shop working, and he's screwing and he's working on like a piece of wood and everything. And they start to talk, and he says, "Hand me that." And he gets the screw, and we just I do a close up, and he screws it in, and then he says something, and basically we're foreshadowing Roy getting deeper, and he can't get out. His, his BS. Well, that makes and sense because you had wounded, and that's what he screwed. 
So yeah. Like, and then anytime we do something Roy, we just call it what he's doing. You know, yeah, that's eventually we'll get, the F'd. I, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the F. <laughs> and I thought I was like, I wanted Jack to go when he was like, well, you don't want the money. And Jack's like, yeah, I'm taking the money. It's like, I know you are, you're, you're, you're working your way in deeper, but I just want to do that close up as like, and it's like the foreshadowing of his ass. He's getting, he's getting pulled in and he can't get out. So that'd be cool. Like, like when you do the uh, screw go in and then and don't have like a credit yet. If that's like the last shot of the deal. And then you know how like movies now will put the huge letters that take up the whole screen. And then it, 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 when it does that, it's like, boom, screwed. <laughs> well, I, that's what I do. I'm telling you, I thought about that. That's my, that's my get out of it. That's my get out of uh, the shot with Jack to lead into. Did you not think we were going to find you? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So all I do, Russell writes the action and whatever, and he'll throw a little bit of a story or dialogue to it just to kind of just, I think it just helps you write, right? Oh, absolutely. And so then what I normally do, I just take what he did. I rarely change the story. I just add all like some humor or some interest with like the, the characters, like the, uh, the, you wrote the episode one where they're at, I'll just go ahead and tell them. Yeah. It's not going to ruin anything really. Where the bad guy just like, throws Roy in the pool. I think he just throws him in the pool and then he gets out and then they threaten him. That's the end of it. So I added a whole deal where he keeps putting him down and holds his head down. And Roy's talking to the camera. I even have him underwater, like, you know, shaking his head. Like he's just kind of waiting for this to be over with and shit like that. So it's just, it's just seasoned up. What I call, I just add salt and pepper to what you write is all. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is I'm just writing the, you know, I'm writing the action I want to see. You know, this, this is, and I, and for people that are going to watch it, you know, it's the 300 kick. I literally want to see the 300 kick of Chris getting you know, kicked. The, and, kick him in the pool? Kick him in the pool, you know, that's, and I want to use the slow motion and he, and then, you know, so I just wrote what I could get to get to here and didn't give a shit about what they were saying. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I just need something for him to say. So I always think of it like this. People go, I'm only getting you as far as action, not drama or horror. I'm only trying to get you captivated for people to go, holy crap, y'all did that. And then your job is to keep them to watch episode two or go further into the movie. Yeah. That's how I always look at it. It's like, right. I'm just, I'm just getting you to this. I, I don't know who this character is. Hope does, but I know what this character is capable of physically. That's all. Right. So, which is you know what Chris is capable of. In other words, yeah, so I know what Chris is capable of. I know he can get like, kicked. Ah, Chris can't make that job. We're not that even doing that. Yeah, <laughs> move that, move that closer, move that closer. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's been stretching. <laughs> he will not be Tom cruising it. He'll have to be in the golf cart or on the whatever. He will not Tom Cruise. <clears throat> he will be wore out. Well, speaking uh, of Tom Cruise, are they going to, and, and, you know, what we're talking about and Tom Cruise the, and with Tenet and everything, are they just going to throw every movie that should have come out this summer between now and the end of the year? Are they just going to just force them all in there? I think so. I think we'll have like two up, big movie releases a week. I think that's what's going to happen when they open the theaters up. Because you got Top Gun, man. That's what made me think of that. Cause you got, yeah. Yeah. Dude, you got, you got so much. I mean, they're, well, you know, you let, I mean, I couldn't. I watch all the trailers, but it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. It's going to be about a hundred movies released between now and the so, end of the year then in three months. You know, Cause they all want to get it out. Cause if they, one, they want to get them out for Oscars, Oscar deal. And two, they want to get them out because like they need to recoup their money this year. Cause they, they needed 2020 money. I mean, I thought, have you, uh, have you been watching a lot of Netflix still? That's all I watch really is streaming stuff. I, other than football, I will watch a streaming either YouTube, do, Netflix, all. or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm YouTube and, and uh, sports. I'm, I'm I'm glad football's back. I got I mean, the red zone on work YouTube. Day, I'll leave the news on on mute just because it's just to be on, you know. And then 
uh, I'll look up if there's something interesting going on. But the I usually leave YouTube on during the work day, and I just have just whatever playing Joe Rogan or some documentary. Or I'm the same way, dude. I just I just do all the behind the scenes, much behind the scenes as I can find. Yeah, uh, and workout crap. Yeah, I don't do that workout stuff, man. I'm just, man. <laughs> I ain't ready for all that. <laughs> well, uh, I guess we're going to be getting started. We're going to start on our our prequel to our one we haven't shot yet and uh, try to get that submitted. We have to have that submitted by October 23rd. So when are you going to write it or have you? Uh, I'll have started? it finished tonight. Yep. I'll, I'll finish just tonight. Monday is always my busiest day because I've got – yeah, let me yeah, finish all my podcasts. I got like five different podcasts to do, and that Monday I spend pretty much most of the day doing that stuff. So that'd be perfect. So if you write it in that, then that means tomorrow I can get started. But yeah, I'll, I'll do that. that. All right, well, dogs, this is start barking. Kids are going to school, so uh, well, in the show. But don't hang up. I got something else for you that off air. All right, hang up. In the show. Peace out. We'll see you guys next week. See ya.